had the blueprints to a ship. <laughs> Hummel. And you know what? He's not even sorry. <laughs> He's like, hey, I did my job. Transporter must never reveal the contents of a package. <laughs> Trust is the foundation of all. <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome back to some more of Yeez 8, like Hermosa of Donna. We've got ourselves yet another setup here. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of the same. It's just a different table. Yeah, just a different table. That's all. This one has wheels. All right, so we're playing some more of Donna here. We're going to collect some of the essence, and we're just going to enjoy ourselves playing as the leading lady. Yes. Hopefully it lasts a bit longer than the last time. <laughs> well, I know, like, she does... You do play as her quite a bit. Well, that's good. Because, like, most of it's just like, Ooh, I can play as Donna. This is far. We're done. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Flashcard. Nice. Because you have to advance the story. Mm-hmm. Indeedy dandy. We also have a special guest here with us. Yes. Tiny Tuna. Yeesh. She's just like, no matter where you record the commentary, I'll be there. <laughs> I'm always there. I think she enjoys this setup, though. Huh? Recording in the game room. Good. Glad someone's a fan of the new setup. Baby girl. Me, 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 me. Hmm. <laughs> Don't tell anyone you hear voices, Donna. They will take you away. Ooh. When in doubt, inspect the shiny. Okay, an essence mass. I did tell you to collect all of these. As soon yes. As you see them. Yes, you told me to collect the essence fragments, which is our currency. Yes. That the enemies drop. And the essence masses, which is these. Because these are how you get your shops and your costumes. Mm hmm. Oh. Mysterious light. It has a name. <laughs> Genya. Genya, the spirit of life. Well, alrighty then. <laughs> I love all of the different personalities. Oh, so each spirit has a different personality? Yeah. Cool. So they give you, like, abilities when you unlock them or something? Yes. Neat. Yeah, you get, like... So each um, spirit does something different. So, like, this is how Donna gets her costumes. This is how she gets extra powers. This is how she gets, like, different abilities and things like that. Oh. Max HP increase. That's a good perk. Collect them all. They're the new Pokemon. Okay, no problem. And I got 20 essence fragments. This was when I realized, hmm, this is probably like a currency and not like a rare material. <laughs> when it was just like, here's 20 of them right off the bat. You know what? I don't even want to hear it because I watched you run past essence and I was like, are you going to get that? Are you going to? No, you're going to walk past it. You need that. Pick that up. <laughs> and then I just picture you walking down the street, seeing a 20 and being like, Huh. Keep on walking. Like, Son of a bitch. <laughs> it's a trap. Keep walking. I'm not falling for that. Until we meet again. And just like that, she's gone. <laughs> All righty. Keep my eyes open. Yes. Great job. 
virtue has increased. Okay. Alright, so be on the lookout for essence rifts, and you can get spirits. Roger. Okay. So anyways, we're going to where Adol was in the present time. And we're going to go weast. <laughs> weast? I thought you said... Oh. You, you do that every time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeast? I thought you said weast. But I say weast to be smart. And yeah. You're just like, weast? I thought you said... Oh. Oh. <laughs> I am the true Patrick. <laughs> Take it easy. It's only a drawing. Alrighty. So now... Well, our destination is right up here. But first... But first... <laughs> always grab the dragon fruit. It's a delicacy. I do like dragon fruit. I'm the sweet girl. Alright, Donna. Do your stuff. She's like, I think I'd like a tree right here. <laughs> Just see her like putting her thumb up right yeah. about there. Yeah, we'll plant a tree right there. No problem. <laughs> Aww. She's realizing that one day it will all be ruins. Yeah. That's always sad in, like, stories and games when you, like, see, like, a bustling civilization and you see the ruins and you're just like, Ugh! I saw the scene where these characters were here. Yeah. I interacted with the NPC that used to live here, and now it's vacant. I don't know. I, like, I... A little melancholy I get the melancholy me. from it, but I don't know. I grew up watching Futurama. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> Old New York. <laughs> I don't know, because, like, every civilization will die at one point. That's the whole point of this story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and planting a tree. The pantry's half baked. Why would you plant this here? Why not? You have a problem against prayer trees? Prayer cheese? Why do I have a really <laughs> hard time saying prayer trees? There you go. Prayer trees. Mm -hmm. Pray for cheese. Pray for cheese. Prayers for cheese. It's hell of a good. <laughs> Pray for cheese. It's hell of a good from Jesus. Jesus, yep. Praise be to Jesus. It's the false god of Jesus. Yeah, the, the doll's not very fitting in this scenario. <laughs> She's like, who are you dreaming about? <laughs> Didn't sound like me. Then you fell where you stood. Scared the hell out of us. You feeling okay? Ooh, glad to hear that. You touched that weird crystal over there and then you fell down. This is the child of Jesus, Rakota. <laughs> Luna's going to investigate. I'm sure he'll be fine. Yeah. What's that damn dog doing yeah. now? Our poor puppers, um, I'm pretty sure that he had a stroke. Mm -hmm. And he has, like, stroke cough. Mm -hmm. So if you guys hear that in the background, it's neither of us. It's the dog. Yep. I've given the go-ahead. We can both hack now. They'll think it's the dog. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but no, really, it's the dog. <laughs> I'm sorry, Adol. This is very difficult to process. 
So now we have a way down to the ruins. It's a giant tree that we could just climb on down. After seeing this tree show up out of nowhere, it's kind of hard not to believe. It's true. Perhaps this is the same phenomenon that occurred in the Great Valley. It doesn't matter. We have a path now. Let's move that off. Adol's like, dang, I just woke up from like passing out. Give me a minute. <laughs> Let me find my feet first. Get the blood to rush back to my body. <laughs> okay. So now we're finally going to explore the ruins of Eternia. Mm hmm. I really like this part. But I'm glad this worked out. Especially because when you're playing as Donna, you do see it in, like, all of its glory. Yeah. And this is, like, just very, like, solemn I mean, music. and Well, it's still, like, beautiful in its own way. Yeah. But I'm also a weird person, and I do think that, like, ruin and decay can be very beautiful. Okay. I get so sort of a melancholy. I, I could definitely see, like, beauty and stuff like that. But, like, I, I get more of a melancholy from it. Like, aw, this used to be thriving, and now it's just... It's an empty box. So you think. <laughs> yeah. M might be home to some new specimen. <laughs> <laughs> Creepy crawlies going around. Oh, I can move in here. <laughs> no one seems to claim this. <laughs> I'll claim it as my own. Rakota have a tail? That's part of her skirt. Oh, okay. It's like, where'd that tail come from? From her master. The Master Kong. Joke's on you! Master is her father! Ha ha! Adol's like, yes, yes, fun, fun. <laughs> now, to business. We're on a mission. Okay. So let's see what all we can explore around here. Oop, they were saying something. You were like, not important. Th there's just a lot of interruptions because you just walk a couple feet and then like yeah. this cutscene triggers. Because basically it's just like, hey, there's a stranger. Let's follow him. Stranger danger. And then you'll go a little further to be like, he took a left. Yeah. Go a little further. Oh, he decided to take a right. <laughs> go a little further. He circled back. <laughs> it's just like a cutscene for like every move he makes. The characters seem to turn left. The character has turned right. The character is trolling us. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, it seems as though he's spelling something out on GPS, and then it's just like the circle finger. <laughs> yeah. Why are you running, bro? <laughs> Locks ya. <yeah. laughs> she seems to have that effect on the fellers. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. That guy's like, I saw what you did to Adol as soon as you two met. <laughs> no thanks. They do look 
like they exploded. <laughs> Guess the Americans moved in. Pretty much. So what happened to the Eternians? America. <laughs> America! <laughs> America colonized Eternia. I mean... <laughs> Checkmate. See, Hummel agrees. When in doubt, Hummel's out. Checkmate. Ooh, look at that spider web. Uh -huh. As long as it doesn't have a home owner, I'm a home owner. Uh -huh. See, I do it too. Home owner. As long as it doesn't have a home owner, I'm Words satisfied. are hard. Words are hard. <laughs> English be tough. <laughs> but like, keep in mind, so you are here with Donna... Mm -hmm. And, like, everything was normal-sized. Like, it looked... Yeah. Now you're here with... Adol. You know, my tiny guy. Snowflake soap. All right. It's very specific. Haven't, haven't used soap that's over a thousand years old. I mean, it would last that long. If it's lie. Hmm. All righty. Well, well, we'll find out who to give it to when we reach Castaway Village. Oh. Oh, we're in Australia. <laughs> Kangaroos just... Falling from in the from, sky. Yeah, falling in from the ceiling. Good grief. How long were they waiting up there? <laughs> as long as it took. They were probably doing the roof and they were just like, Hey, it's not finished yet. <laughs> Get out of here. We just slaughtered the roofing crew. Sahad, you scare so easily. He does. Every cutscene, there's like a jump or some kind of monster he doesn't expect. He's like, I nearly pissed myself. Okay, he's an older gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta check the pacemaker. <laughs> so it's before the time of prostate exams. <laughs> oh, geez. Yeah, that's a good sense of scale right there. Yes. Yes, it does. It's not every day you have a female character who's taller than the male lead. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> but also, like, Adol's not short. He's just short for an Eternian. Yeah. He's normal stature. I'd say... I don't know, I'd have to put him up against Hummel. Why? Because I'm trying to see... Because obviously Rakota's the smallest. She's a kid. I think, I think Loxia's smaller Hummel than Adol, Hummel is a little though. bit taller than him. Okay. Because I know Sahad's the tallest but of I the group. But I think Hummel's also supposed to be a little bit older than him. Oh, okay. That might be right. I do like how he swung into the building. We went in the building and he was just like, psych. I know. <laughs> no thanks. That dude was just like, on second thought. Got him. <laughs> he found a new location. Mm-hmm. It makes my neck hurt. <laughs> I like how the dialogue develops the characters without going in circles. <clears throat> Golden Sun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The stupa. It's a stupa tall building. <laughs> I was thinking of something along <laughs> the lines. I was just like, what a stupid question. <laughs> Quit that. I don't know why she just... <laughs> What the heck, Lou? She went after the wire. Oh, well, she hit my leg. Nails mm. out. Yeah. Almost out. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, well, there's probably a secret. Secret. 
secret. She just wraps her little tail around you. Mm-hmm. Hope Stone. Who carries the Hope Stone? Let's see. Rakota, how are your stats? They seem My a little lacking. My lost! <laughs> Lie down, little terrorist. I know. She just gets into everything. She's so freaking cute. You're always in the way. But she is also extremely destructive. Mm hmm. Ouch. Dang it. Extremely destructive. Nasty little girl. Well, I mean, I did just toss her. Toss her, Chaucer. <laughs> now I'm gonna look like a cutter. Uh-oh. Visual evidence is defying my scientific studies. No! <laughs> Humans and primordials did not coexist. It did not. <laughs> Man, that guy's quick. No, you guys are just real slow. <laughs> I mean, it's because you're taking your time, guys. You're exploring buildings. You're also you keep stopping history. and being like, according to my research. <laughs> hmm. It's so pretty. Yeah, I thought so. Wasn't there a building here? <laughs> mm -hmm. That whole thing went. Wake up at all. <laughs> <laughs> Daydreaming, sorry. Where did the building go? Was it abducted by aliens? Gone. Oh. All gone. I think I know where the building went. It fell into a giant chasm. <laughs> Way down there. <laughs> Aw. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, what a dick! You <laughs> would do it to Loxia. <laughs> but I love that he just screams boo. Uh huh. Boo! 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 Meanwhile, Loxia's boo! like, I peed more than a little. <laughs> <laughs> I nearly pissed myself. Nope, nope. I, I, I pissed myself. <laughs> yep. There needs to be a moment later on where it's just like, I shit myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like... Oh. oh, no, I shit myself. Okay, so that's Rakota's dad. Well, hug her back, man. Dang. Too hard to animate, I guess. <laughs> Rakota's uh, er, father. father. <laughs> he sounds ashamed. Because <laughs> that's not her real dad. Yeah, it's, it's not her actual dad. If you're paying attention. He's like, listen, I've been running away from this kid for eons. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it makes more sense than the shoe bill and the Kong. <laughs> Where have you been? Thanatos. Named after the god of death from Greek mythology. Dun dun dun. He seems like a good guy though. He has an earring. Yes he does. He also has a Belmont whip. <laughs> <laughs> a whip. He's part of Hell's Belmont. Son of Belmont. <laughs> 
well, we have good news for you. <laughs> that pterosaur that scooped you up and carried you all the way to the northern part of the island took care of it. <laughs> Doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> you got captured? Me too! <laughs> oh, did it now? Like father, like daughter. <laughs> <laughs> They're both like, uh. <laughs> yeah, I got captured by a dinosaur. <gasps> no way, me too! <laughs> Tell me all about it. Everyone else is just like, uh, yeah, they're definitely related. I do like his motto, though. You need a sense of humor. A sense of humor is the most important thing there is. Facts. Yep. <laughs> Beauty fades, humor is forever. That's why I have the perfect co-host. Move it. She's on me. Don't <laughs> upset her. I already have multiple scratches. Ah. Well, how about that? We finally know what Hummel's been delivering. <laughs> Dude, have you had that suitcase the whole time? Yep. That's Hummel. I love what he delivers. So do I. <laughs> These are my favorite pickles. <laughs> I just love that line. Th these are my favorite pickles. What? Pickles? <laughs> pickles and eggs! A sword at my throat. At my chest. At my pickles and eggs. <laughs> well, Luxia's so, so upset she had a pickle. <laughs> oh. Wrote this message. Put it in a bottle and cast it out to sea. Like she was like, hold on a second. <laughs> She's like, you came all this way to deliver pickles? Not even pickles. It's just a drawing of pickles. If you're reading this, send a jar of my favorite pickles in the blueprints for a ship. <laughs> <laughs> All this time, those pickles were classified. <laughs> he planted the whole time. He's like, I must sink the Lombardia. <laughs> <laughs> Upon receiving payment, contract was formed. <laughs> <laughs> I love the sparkle. So do I. And he takes it so seriously. <laughs> the pickles, obviously. <laughs> She'd slap me if I said that. <laughs> so yeah, all this time, Hummel had the blueprints to a ship. <laughs> Hummel. And you know what? He's not even sorry. <laughs> He's like, hey, I did my job. Transporter must never reveal the contents of a package. <laughs> <laughs> Trust is the foundation of... <laughs> 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 it's such a beautiful excuse and like... Because you read this, because like, like Wait. he's not wrong, but at the same time, I'm like, okay, there's there are certain exceptions to the rule. It's a clever cover up to like what would be a plot hole. Yeah, it's like, but wait, if he had the blueprints, they could have got off this whole time. Trust is the foundation. Uh, work. <laughs> Trust is the foundation, and it fits his character. And there we go. We got the ship blueprints. Do -do -do. He doesn't give us the pickles. No, those are, he's like, I'll share the blueprints, but these, these are mine. The pickles belong to me. Okay, but we're not done yet. We can't go back to Castaway Village just yet. Okay, so we still have the Marine Primordial. And what the hell's going on with Adol's dreams? Mm-hmm.
All right. <clears throat> Let me fill you in. Four score and seven years ago, the Lemoria is sick. Let me fill you in on these dreams. Have you ever dreamed that you're in your house, but things are significantly different? <laughs> well, in this dream, the windows were a lot higher up, and I was a lot smaller. <laughs> I was also a woman. <laughs> <laughs> also, and this is, we, we can't gloss over this, I was a woman. With blue hair, the complimentary color. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Green is the compliment to red. Mm. <laughs> hey, I paid a lot of money for that art degree. <laughs> <laughs> Your stomach just moved. My stomach did just move. Oh. <laughs> No, you know what your stomach did? Oh, burn. <laughs> I know. Listen, I think I'm funny, so my body involuntarily has my back. <laughs> it's like, yeah, get him, girl. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's just like the actual moaning bells. <laughs> I mean, if we have to pa pause the recording, you let me know. We've done it before. All right. That's right. You like text. Can, can, we, can stop? we stop? And then literally, <laughs> as soon as you were you stopped it, my stomach went. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, well, we found out your stomach makes the noise tummy. similar to what was called the Murlocs <laughs> from World of Warcraft, <laughs> and I played you the sound of them going. <laughs> I freaking lost it. <laughs> you were just like, oh jeez. <laughs> so now every time your stomach makes noises, I just think of. Yeah. If anyone has ever had opposing, like, minor medical issues, I feel you. <laughs> because it's like, I don't process dairy mm -hmm. very well, but in order to help, like, stomach acid, you're supposed to have, like, non fat milk gotcha. to, like, help stomach acid. Mm -hmm. So I got a a decaf latte because it's also you can't have caffeine mm -hmm. and instead of doing non-dairy like i usually do i did non-fat milk and it mm -hmm. really helps with the the acid however with not being able to process dairy <laughs> i'm like you can't freaking win <laughs> well that was a little insight into my personal life <laughs> mm -hmm. There's a raptor. Mm -hmm. There's a primordial in your stomach. <laughs> See, this is the moral of the story. Civilizations, no matter how much prosperity, must end someday. All things must eventually come to an end. Eternia. Yep. This show. Oh. The cat. No! All things come to an end. The cat is forever. No, the cat is not forever. The dog might be forever. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I love that thing, but it's competing with my great-grandmother for longest fucking existence ever. Milo. Yeah, Milo was up there. You only got to know Milo for three years, but... Uh... You got to know him the other 20. Yeah. You are a good kitty. Ah, he was. He was the funniest damn animal. <laughs> I mean, Luna and Bupka have moments where I can, like, chuckle. But, like, Milo had me just, like, howling in laughter. Yes. He was a very funny cat. He shows up in a couple of the earlier videos. Yeah. And you can hear him in some of the earlier commentary. He's also in some of our creature collections that's right he is because uh i was able to hold him for a couple episodes because he's just a he's a rag doll mm -hmm. so he was just <laughs> so he was a rag he doll cat in my arms but he was also part main coon so that's he right, was Maine like Coon. he was a biggie a really big rag doll cat mm -hmm. <laughs> and i know that from pictures because when i met him he was starting to shrink yeah 
he had already lost a lot of weight. But in yeah. his prime, he was like a 30-pound cat. I believe it. So, he was the size of Wesker. Woof. Them two were like Doobie Brothers. Oh, God, that was so <laughs> funny. They were drinking buddies. <laughs> Wait for each other at the water bowl. Milo would like shake water off his claw and splash <laughs> God, Wesker. So... Just Wesker's face was just like, hey, 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 man, stop. It's like, what's going on here? Stab it. Doing his quick blinkies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Just so> funny. <laughs> see, but now here's like the perfect comparison. So now we're back in the past with Donna. Mm -hmm. You can see it flourishing, fresh flowers, the colors. <laughs> <laughs> see, I like that it's the like. The bouncing music. It's not all that different in a lot of places. Mm -hmm. Like, but you do see the distress of time. Yeah. But I mean, like, for the most part, I would say for how many years it's been, like, it held up really well. Yeah. What you build it with, Especially folks? when you find <laughs> out what happened. Yeah. My guess is, and this is just a theory, um, like meteor shower or like a meteor similar to like what killed the dinosaurs an asteroid hit I mean, the planet that's a good guess yeah and because of that like a lot of species died off a lot of crops didn't grow so they like starved to death that is a good guess thank you they, they seem to really go into like the age of dinosaurs thing only the extra bonus is people coexist <laughs> But they're kind of like, yeah, this is the primordials. and I think that's something that I would love to learn more about. Um, just because I don't, I don't really know. Paleontology. Yeah. Mm. Just because I know, like, I know for a long time I thought this. So I could only imagine, like, you know, a lot of other people think the same thing. Mm -hmm. But, like, not all dinosaurs lived during the same time frame. So, like, right. a T-Rex didn't live at the same time as um, you had mentioned one. I'm trying to think of like one of the earlier dinosaurs. But like it was, they didn't all live together. No, they did not. So it's like there was over the course T -Rex of T-Rex was the one that saw the meteor and it was like, ah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, Long live the king. But it was like over the course of time, there was evolution and extinction going on. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I'm sure that the, well, I'm not sure. I'm positive that there were humans at the same time there were certain dinosaurs, even if it wasn't like a T-Rex. Yeah, I believe it was or... Stegosaurus who was earlier. I could be I wrong. I think so. I think that's what you'd said earlier. I'd have to look into it. But it's interesting. So I just, I would love to like learn about what kind of dinosaurs were there when early humans were around. Because like crocodiles, right. like any of the water dinosaurs Most of the water were, ones, yeah. were still alive. So it's like the idea that humans and dinosaurs never coexisted would technically be incorrect. Certain types of dinosaurs didn't exist with humans. Right. Well, there was also like the Ice Age and stuff like that. Yeah. That was when humans started to come into the forefront. And the, the reptilian ones, which yeah. that's also controversial because they're more akin to birds. And if mm -hmm. they're more akin to birds, they should have been able to live throughout the ice age well i think it would depend because i know like because some birds although some flies for south for the winter some yeah. birds can live in the cold in the cold exactly that's why we have our little chubby cardinals because they all fluff up and <laughs> exactly. I, I love them um but i know like the the last time i'd looked into it this is years ago when they first said the dinosaurs had feathers mm -hmm. um they weren't covered in feathers they had they little had, patches yeah yeah so it's like they would have like a mane of feathers or a crown or wings, but mm -hmm. like they were still part reptilian. Yeah. I just think it's really, really interesting and I'd love to learn more about it. Uh, absolutely. It, it's always important to separate like the fun fantasy from the reality and the scientific. You yeah. can still enjoy like what the primordials oh, depict yeah. and Jurassic Park and stuff like yeah. that. But don't be like, that's dinosaurs. We're, we're constantly discovering new things. Oh, absolutely. We're that's, constantly... That's like the magnificence of science is like what you and think And by we, was... I mean scientists, yeah. not me. <laughs> <laughs> what you think is concrete. Professionals. And 
absolute, sometimes isn't. Well, that's the beauty of science. Like, it's constantly yeah. updating, and we don't know. You know, as technology advances, like, so does science. And the understanding of science. Yeah. And I think that is beautiful. Yeah, that's the beautiful part of science. The ugly part of science is the... <laughs> Probably shouldn't do this, but for the sake of science. <laughs> We're gonna do it anyway. <laughs> science has a lack of, hey guys, I don't for think science. this is a good idea. <laughs> well, if not us, who? Okay. They spend so long thinking if they can do it, they never thought if they should. Exactly. Exactly. And then what do you know? We end up with a fucking stink bug. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> So, thank you, science. I think one of the craziest things to me, it was like one of the last things that I had learned about in college, which again, this is over, you know, over a decade ago at this point. And um, so I'm sure things have advanced greatly since then. Mm -hmm. But it's the idea of designer babies. Go on. So they have the ability now that... In utero for conception, they can design what their child is going to look like. Oh. They can design what skin tone it's going to have, what color hair, what color eyes, what kind of... Build a baby workshop. Yeah, and I'm like, that's cool, but it's also like, it's really creepy. Takes out the fun. <laughs> well, not only that, it's just like, you're literally... Frankensteining a baby. Yeah, it's 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 creepy to me. It's very like hmm. it's interesting and it's cool, but it's also like, uh, <laughs> hmm. should we be doing that? Like, I don't really see a harm, I guess, in doing that, but it's kind of weird. Is it weird just because it's new? I don't know. Like, because it's one thing. It basically started because they could detect, like, if a child was going to have health issues. Mm. So they could basically remove that issue. Oh, shit. Yeah. And then people were like, oh, well, if you could do that, could you give my kid blue eyes? Mm. Could you give? Could you make my kid blonde? And they were like, tick, tick. Oh, looks like we can. Yeah. And it's just like, it's, I don't know, it's. It's just weird. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's bad. It's just weird. Okay. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. They're like, can you make sure my kid is a tune to play mus music? What, music. Music. I guess not. <laughs> no. Can my kid talk right? No. Playing hide and seek. Mia. Could you find her? No. She's really good. <laughs> She's very good at this game. She's a pro. Oh, uh, you mean you couldn't find her either? My rebuttal would be like, I'm in charge of hiding. That's not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> when you play hide and seek and everyone goes hide, it's the seeker's job to find them. <laughs> if I'm hiding in my spot, I don't give a toss where the other kids are hiding. Meanwhile, she's like, I'm the freaking maiden. I have shit to do. No, I gotta play hide and go seek. I only had two worries. One, don't get found first. Two, don't get forgotten when the kids go home. Yeah. <laughs> Those were my only concerns. Me and my brother were like masters of finding hiding places that like they had to find you because we couldn't get out. <laughs> Um, we learned what closets in our house and what cupboards did not have latches on the inside. So once you closed it, uh -oh. you, you had to be found to get out. You were probably like, find me, find me. Well, like after a while, because again, it's in the 90s. So it's not like we had phones to see how long we were in the closet for. Yeah. Like after a while, you're just like, 
I hurt. This is uncomfortable. I'm done playing. This isn't fun anymore. But then because, I mean, you've seen me and my brother. We get super stubborn. And yeah. <laughs> we're like, oh, well, you done yourself in now. Okay, bye. <laughs> and mm. then, you know, my mom would be like, where's your sister? I don't know. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm crying in the bathroom cupboard like, <laughs> get me out of here. That's like your cat. Always yeah, she was in the, the sun. Cover. <laughs> True. <laughs> it's always clawing away. I'm just like, now where is she at? Well, she was stuck in the sun porch today. I like, I heard her crying and I was like, where are you? And then I opened the sun porch door and she was like, thank you. It's cold. <laughs> <laughs> How the hell did you end up in the sun porch? She must have trotted behind me when I grabbed the tissues. Meanwhile, in my head, I'm like, you know cats live outside, right? Yeah. And she's just like, I'm cold. I'm yeah. agree. Oh, she's a spoiled brat. We know this. She is spoiled. I like her instincts. This is new. I'm not familiar with this before, but I must explore it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Adventurer's instinct. Adventure is out there. I'd be more likely to explore something if it wasn't dark. <laughs> like, if it's super dark and I can't see, I'm not going. Sorry. Ah. Well, the secrets of the civilization are out of your grasp, then. But see, though, it's light. Like, there are lights. Yeah, it's she illuminated. Can see. I would go. I'd be like, yeah, fucking let's do it. <laughs> go down there. So that's why the electricity bill has skyrocketed lately. I know. <laughs> Makes so much sense. That's how I always felt about Dexter's lab. I'm like, don't his parents realize that their electricity bill is like thousands of dollars yeah, really. every month? At least Jimmy Neutron knew. <laughs> Judy's just like, well, my son's a genius. Like, I didn't... Wasn't there an episode on him, like, with free energy, like, making his own electricity? Did it go well, though, or did it go haywire? I'm sure it went haywire, <laughs> but... Because, like, he's kind of like Malcolm, to where it's like, sure, he's a genius. But things go wrong. But things go awry. <laughs> See, the thing that I like about Malcolm as a genius is he's not hes not an inventor. No. He's just smart. He's just smart, yeah. But I also love that, like, I don't know if you, like, watched it enough or caught on. Um, with the exception of Francis. Okay. They all are, like, exceptional at one thing. Oh, okay. So, like, Malcolm is really smart. He has, like, photographic memory. He's considered a genius. Yeah. Reese is a cook. Like, he's very good at cooking. And <laughs> granted, he's still an asshole about it, but he's yeah. good at cooking. And then Dewey is really good at music. Oh, okay. And Francis is just good at pissing off his parents. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Francis. I don't think he was ever, like, mentioned being really good at something. Okay. Did you finish the series? No, not yet. Oh, okay. I mean, I have. Like, I've seen the oh, whole thing. I, I know but... you have. I was just curious because recently you're rewatching it. Yeah. Also recently, we finished Gravity Falls. Yeah. Fantastic show. So good. Also, also recently, get out of there, stupid bird. So these birds are going to relight the braziers. So you got to keep them away and extinguish all the braziers to unlock the door. No, no, no. No, you don't. All right, now we got time. Go, 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 go. And you can't just hop down. You can hop down this way, though. Ha, 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 ha. Oh. No, we're going to make it. See? They still have to light themselves. <laughs> yeah. But I was just like, why didn't you just go across? Like across the bridge. Yeah, who cares? I made it. <laughs> <laughs> da -da -da -da. Not like I'm being timed and it's just like, high score! Oops. Instinct. <laughs> 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 I always have the instinct of just jumping through. You know why? Because there's not physically a wall there, so I'm just like, eh. <laughs> Fair. It's an invisible barrier. And sometimes I'm just like, 
Maybe I can cheat it. <laughs> Did I just hear a child? Oh god, not the children. I grabbed some medicine. That's pretty cool. I did not want to hit that button, but here we are. Is there a way to cancel these in Ease 9 if you hit them accidentally? Or do you commit? You still commit. Bummer. I hope yeah. they fix that in Ease 10. <laughs> Although Ease 10 is apparently like really different. Yeah? Yeah. It mostly focuses on like two characters and it has like a whole different setup. So all this stuff you see here that like transfers into nine, to where it's mm -hmm. like the same, same but different. Yeah. Ease ten doesn't have that. Mm. So yeah, but we still have another year or so before that comes over here. Yeah. But it released in Japan, and it was mostly well received. Hmm. Amy, Freedom! Spirit of Possessions. She's a lively spirit. <laughs> I'm Amy, also known as the spirit of possessions. <laughs> Y'all. <I> like shopping. <laughs> Do you like shopping? She's the Regina George of uh, spirits. Get in, loser. We're going shopping. <laughs> So my boss is like a massive fan of Mean Girls, mm -hmm. and uh, <laughs> I had to call her yesterday and tell her that one of our coworkers couldn't come in, mm -hmm. and she just went "boo, you whore" and hung up. <laughs> I was like, "My boss, everybody." <laughs> That's beautiful. So yeah, Amy is our shopkeeper in the past. Full medicine obtained. Yeah. First one's free. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody gets one. <laughs> Can you know her? You now have access to Amy's shop. Thank you. More virtue increased. All right, so we use essence fragments to buy new things. What do we got here? Oops, no, no, no. Wrong button. Okay, into paralytic, burn medicine, and remedy. I need more to get the tempest elixir. But for now, I'll grab a star earring. Yay. There we go. Because Donna's a star. Now, the things you get in the past for her are only in the past. Oh, so wink, wink. If she were to show up in present day, you won't have that. She doesn't have those equipments. Fair enough. I was actually going to consider that when I reloaded my file. <laughs> Be like, hey, I wonder if she still got those star earrings. Womp womp. <laughs> uh oh <laughs> Olga has the power of telepathy and where are you and she's like I'm a little busy right now I'm a little busy at the moment <laughs> Donna pulls a Captain Barbosa dearly beloved we be gathered here today <laughs> alright you guys quit it no, no. Yep. All right. Oh, crap. There goes another one. Take that one out. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Huh. Ha-ha. Nice. Okay. So there's three. Ah, there's the third one. Back here, back here, back here. There you go. Yay. Caca. Meanwhile, Olga's like, son of a bitch, girl, come on, do this later. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I can only stall for you for so long. They're like, where's Donna? Oh, she's around here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, 500 feet below ground. Pretty much. Donna explodes an enemy. They're like, hey. <laughs> Our ancestors appear to be weeping. Okay, so it's been a while, but we actually have a boss fight coming up. Oh, yeah. It's been a couple episodes since we faced a boss. And this is True Yi's fashion. We're doing a solo boss battle. That's how the OG Yi's would go. It was just at all oh, and the adversaries. Aw, oh, jeez. Aw, oh, jeez. Uh, yep. I like, though, that there, like, there are a couple solo boss battles. Yeah. Well, it's also to be like, hey, when you're in a party, if you die, eh, just swap to another character. Yeah. As Solo, it's just like, don't die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we have here the Awakened Azure Dragon Armor, Gracios. Cool. He reminds me of Legs Go All the Way Up, Griffin. Legs Go All the Way Up, Griffin? From Family Guy. Oh. Have you ever seen that one? Probably not. That one doesn't seem familiar. So you pull that out while I face this... Ooh! Ruthless dragon armor. Ah, oh, damn. He's got a Valadragil's roar. Okay, not bad, not bad. Swiping attack, alright. Is that all you can do? Oh, okay. <laughs> gotcha. Alrighty. <laughs> eh, he's got a bit of a chest. He's just got like huge knee pads. Yeah. <laughs> but from behind, you can see his full stature. It's just funny. <laughs> Why is that the great, 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 great ancestor? Oh, there Let's we go. go. All the way up, Griffin. Ooh, 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 careful. Let's... You know what? We got ten dragon fruit. Let's use a dragon fruit. <laughs> Why not? There we go. All right. That is one thing that I really like about the newer uses, is there's just there's plenty of options to get healing items yeah whereas older yeezus don't even have healing yeah. items <laughs> even if they're not very like not a lot of healing items like in this one you can get crew berries mm -hmm. and they only heal like what 10 points or something but like yeah they're so available that if you have like a hundred of them you can literally just like yeah so i believe in yeast three there's like a meter you can fill and when it's full and you activate it it starts healing you until it depletes oh so through combat, it'll heal. It'll no, it'll increase, and then you just let it loose, and it'll heal you for a bit. Okay. So you got to use it sparingly. But I also like in the newer ones, if you just stand in a field for a little bit, it heals you. Yeah. And I'm like, that is symbolic, <laughs> because I too need to go stand in a field for a little bit to be healed. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, ooh, damn. There we go. Oh, it just keeps going. Flippy, flippy, flippy. <laughs> Almost there. Just a little bit more. Ah. Come on, let me get in close. Let me get in close. Just a couple more slices. Whoa. Ah. Toasty Donna. Oh, crap. And I'm out of... SP, MP, whatever you want to call it. The stuff to let loose my skills. Yeah. Oh. It's okay. Just a couple more hits. A couple more regular hits. I can do it. Ooh. Ooh. He hits hard, too. His fire breath certainly does. There we go. We got him. Yay. 
Alrighty. And we got a level up. That's nice. And a treasure chest. Oh boy! Treasure chest. I don't know why after every time he says treasure chest, I want to go, yeah. <laughs> Wheel of Eternity. Turn, turn, turn. Tell us the lesson that we should learn. Stun duration random. Okay. That's pretty cool. I guess that means uh, when you stun the enemy, it lasts longer. Okay. Especially like with bosses when yeah. they get in that stun phase. And you can be like, all right, let her rip. <laughs> oh, ancient monolith. I also absolutely love the idea that, like, in the past they were highly advanced. Yeah. That's something, uh. That's a common, like, yeah. trope. It happens a lot in fantasy games. Yeah. Breath of the Wild is like that. To where it's just like, oh, a thousand years ago it was the Sheikah and their tech. Yeah. And the Sheikah Slate and the Guardians and stuff like that. I just like think that. it's interesting because we do see that in some historical events. Maybe not with, like, technology of, like, computers. Yeah, but there there were, like, interesting ways that our ancestors... Well, even, like, irrigation mm -hmm. and, you know, like, the farming mm -hmm. that they did. And it's mainly, like... I. I don't know if it's just because most of my education is, like, South American, Aztec, Mayan, Inca, but, like, when the Black Plague was going on, they were, like, thriving. Mm -hmm. So, like, while all of Europe was basically dying, dying yeah. <laughs> they were just, like, they built um, floating farms mm -hmm. on different waterways and, like, came up with that type of irrigation. Life, uh, finds a way. Yeah. Gunshots or fireworks? I mean, it is New Year's Eve. Yeah. So it could be either. Both. Why not both? both? All of the above. Is it both? <laughs> Hashtag city living. So this is interesting. She's like, huh, this is different from what I've been taught. Which version of events is true? Huh? What? Oh, it's you. I love how everyone is in blue, and she's just like, no, I wear pink. Because on Wednesdays, <laughs> we wear pink. She's not from around here. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Eo? <laughs> come on, Eo. Come on, Eo. Eo! <laughs> human body facts <laughs> well maybe not that body because <laughs> <laughs> just a little more of a girth sticking out just a blurp. <laughs> do you remember the chunky attorney in that i was like yay yep <laughs> baby girl that's luna as a human <laughs> i love the dilemma between her going like <laughs> And Donna going, <laughs> I know. Say, what do you suppose that is over there? A door? He was definitely a mischief maker. Yes. I don't know where her alliance is. Part of me suspecting she might actually be like a major antagonist. It was Dagrin! That's Dagrin's little sister. <laughs> Dagrin's baby sister. Just a quick look. Okay? But even if there is more to this place, 
By the way, when we say it was Dagrin, we're referring to the last story. Yeah. <laughs> we're referring to our last story playthrough. Apparently, a couple people got confused being like, I don't get the Dagrin joke. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll explain it all in the next episode. Toodles.